One of the biggest challenges in de-extinction will be finding an adequately well-preserved sample from the species that we want to bring back. For this reason, some of the easiest species to target for de-extinction projects are likely to be species that went extinct very recently. In fact, so recently that before the species went extinct, we managed to capture a bit of tissue and preserve it, such as in the frozen zoo in San Diego. These species we would be able to bring back using traditional cloning technologies, the same technologies that were used to bring back Dolly the sheep in the 90s. If the species hasn't gone extinct recently, if we don't have a preserved bit of living tissue, we will not be able to use traditional cloning technologies to bring this species back to life. Instead, we'll have to find a very well-preserved bit of bone or hair or tooth or other tissue somewhere, probably somewhere where it's very cold, like the permafrost, and use this to extract and sequence that species' genome. This opens up a whole other range of problems and challenges in de-extinction. It's currently not possible to sequence the complete gene extinct. When an animal dies, the DNA begins to decay almost immediately, and within not very much time at all, the only thing that remains are tiny little broken fragments of DNA that contain all sorts of chemical damage that makes it really hard to piece those tiny fragments back together to make a whole genome. And yet, this is going to be an important step, either in bringing a species back to life or in bringing specific traits that belonged to extinct species back to life by engineering them into living relatives.